Okay, so this guide shows you what to do if you've plugged your 4K Fire TV stick into another screen or monitor and you get either no signal or when you first fire it up, you just get this Fire TV logo and then you get nothing else. So this commonly occurs, like I say, when you've plugged it into a different TV or monitor and the TV or monitor can't accept the resolution that the Fire TV stick is set at. So the old TV could accept it, but uh, the TV that you've plugged it into now can't. So there is a method of getting around this, and all you do is you just grab your remote control here. Now, by the way, like I say, I've tested this on the 4K Fire TV stick. It may work on other Fire TV sticks. If it does for you, please comment below and let us all know. So all you need to do is you need to press down the up button on the remote control and the reverse button. Now the up button is just there and the reverse is there and press and hold them both together for about 10 seconds. Okay, so let's just do that. So press and hold both together. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Now, if nothing happens straight away, then don't worry. Just leave the screen and the Fire TV stick for a few minutes because what it's doing is in the background is it's cycling through all the different resolutions. So as you can see, mine's actually come up and it says the current resolution is 1080p, 60 hertz. And now it's going through and it's trying 1080p, 50 hertz. As luck would have it, this particular screen seems to be able to handle all of the resolutions that um, it can it can find so the best thing to do is to once you see this is to say use current resolution so to do that to accept the current resolution just press the confirm button that's this button here okay and the picture might not be that clear but what you can do is once you're in there you can press and hold the picture of the house on the remote control okay and then go across to the right until settings is highlighted, press the middle button, then go down and go across to display and sound. And once display and sound is highlighted in orange, press the middle button on the remote control and then go down to display. OK, and then make press the middle button on the remote control, then make sure that video resolution is highlighted. And then, like I say, select the resolution on there. I always find automatic seems to work the best. And it does mean to say that if you do plug it into another TV, then hopefully it should change automatically the resolution each time you plug it into a different TV. So I'm going to select automatic. OK, the screen goes blank and then it says resolution change. So it says you've changed the resolution from 720p 50 hertz to automatic. If your screen looks fine, select confirm below to keep this resolution setting. So I'm just going to press the left button and then press the middle button to confirm. And then I can just press the picture of the house to go back to the main menu. So there you go. I hope this guide helps and thank you very much for watching. You can follow me on Twitter at CW Tech. That's at CW Tech on Twitter. And don't forget to check out my other videos in my YouTube channel. Just Google Chris Waite YouTube. And don't forget to like and subscribe to my YouTube channel. Thank you for your support.